Hello, today I want to talk a little bit about ChatGPT, its limitations for medical and research writing, and how we at Site.ai are using ChatGPT provi to provide validated sources and references. Say you have a question, how frequent is recombination in negative sense single-stranded RNA viruses? If you type this in ChatGPT, it will produce uh, an answer. And as you can see, it's giving you some complex uh, uh, answer to this question. Is it right, right? ChatGPT does not provide real sources or any sources for this information. And so while it might look extremely correct and very authoritative, it's hard to validate and verify. If we take the same question in sight, add it to the search bar, we can then utilize ChatGPT to see exactly what uh, is outputted from our end. And so in this case, it says recombination in negative sense, single uh, stranded RNA viruses is generally rare or absent. The key difference here is that we're providing real sources, which you can verify as a human by reading what the output from the machine said and then what the research article said, tied directly to a research article itself that you can see has been supported uh, by other citations. If you hover over this, you can see the other citation and you can identify when they're supporting evidence or competing evidence to this claim. And so Cite is pulling from the ChatGPT API, providing a very easy way to ask questions or understand content. And what we're doing is validating that output and providing real references from the scientific literature here. This is unique to Cite as we have extracted 1.3 billion citation statements from over 33 million full text articles. So this is a powerful way to utilize research articles for medical writing or research writing. Thanks.